I remember the summer of 1990, when I was 13, when it was so hot that my sister begged my father to go swimming in the Charles River. My father is not feeling well, but he still takes us with him. With the family dog and some food, we set off for the Charles River near Massachusetts. When we arrived, we saw hundreds of teenagers crossing the fence and ignoring the danger signs there. Some older children jumped from the bridge into the river, about 15 feet or more. The heat of the period was unbearable. Imagine people walking barefoot on hot rocks or hot sidewalks. They are jumping to avoid the sensation of barefoot burning. My family and I also began to swim in the water. Because there were so many people swimming, my family was easily separated by the stream. I was taken to a certain place on the river. I was rushed to one side, I walked onto the sidewalk, onto the ladder, and then I looked for my family, but never found them. I began to get a little anxious. I walked further into a small dam. It looked less dangerous than the first one. I decided to walk through the small dam, where there was a lot of water. It felt like three to five feet of water. I nearly slipped in the middle of the walk because the stones were too slippery. I learned to swim early. So I wasn't alarmed, but I was well aware of the power of the current. Under the waterfall, I tried to fight the current and let my body go. I was caught in an undercurrent and tried to swim out. I lost my way. I don't know which way is up, down, right, or even left. I panicked terrified of what might happen to me. I screamed for help in the water and I wanted my cries to be heard. When I opened my mouth and shouted, the water got into my mouth and stopped breathing. My body feels cold and my brain stops working. Darkness enveloped everything around me. I realized that the door of life was close to me. My body says, is this the experience of death? Really? Then I fell into darkness. Then a current hit my foot from my foot all the way to my head, and my body was in awe of the feeling. Immediately, my life was shown scrolling year after year with the flicker of movies. My first favorite flash was when I was born. I saw my mother's beautiful face for the first time. I don't know how much my mother loves me. The second flash was when I played with my brothers and sisters and I felt the closeness with them. The third flicker was when my father threw my body into the air and a burst of laughter and some puzzled feelings flashed. Then the scroll got faster and faster and I felt a lot of stars exploding on my head or body. This is not true. Then I saw a light at the end of the tunnel coming at me. My spirit or soul is drawn into the tunnel of light. I flew through the tunnel. I still remember that feeling today. The only thing I can describe to you is that it feels almost exactly like the movie Touch, a spherical spacecraft falling off a giant gyroscope. The actress immediately went through the tunnel, where she could see the outer space through her space shuttle. That's what I saw when I enlarged the tunnel. I can see some universe through the tunnel. It's great to go through a tunnel at the speed of light. I was floating in the tunnel, moving very fast. I didn't know where the end was, but I didn't have any fear. For the first time, I realized how many of us were bound by the government or church, and it was lifted from my shoulders. I can't find the right words to describe the experience. It was like a hurricane, drawing all the energy into the eye of the storm. I knew at 13 that once I crossed the border, I would never return. There's a chance I'll never see my family again, and I'm happy to cross that. I plan to cross, but my ancestors caught my attention at another frontier. They were talking telepathically, which caught my attention. I was born deaf and my family no sign language. But here, I do not need sign language, I can telepathically communicate with my ancestors. It overwhelmed me. I can't believe how many people I can relate to at once. I saw unexplainable sights. Landscapes and buildings, not built by man, but evidently by some supernatural builder. The megacity is almost flawless. I saw the perfect big city through my ancestors. One of my grandmothers or great-grandmother was surprised and puzzled that I had reached the border. They were all shocked at my arrival. They never thought I'd be here. They welcomed me with open arms. 
One of my ancestors telepathically said to his neighbor, why is he here? Should he be here now? I think his time is in the near future, but not now. Another man jumped in with love and joy to see me and see my new future. I can't even put into words what I see. For a moment, an angel approached me firmly and asked, what are you doing here? I was shocked by his question. The first time I saw my guardian angel, I knew he was there when my mother gave birth to me. He shared the joy. I looked at him and felt so excited. I tried to get closer and took a step closer. He telepathically asked me, what happened? I didn't care what happened. I was content, full of joy and love. I want to cross the border at once. My angel stoutly approached me, then scanned me and saw me drown. I was shocked that he didn't have any conversations, just scanned me. My own guardian angel declared firmly, your time has not yet come. You have some unfinished business to do. At first, I shrugged and tried to sneak up on him. He moved like lightning and reached out to me. I felt my body being pulled back with unbelievable speed, the light of the tunnel flashing through my eyes, and I was captured by such powerful hands. I felt my body again and I wondered why I was still in my body. I woke up and realized I was still in the water. I thought I was actually breathing in the water, but I wasn't. I heard a voice say, stand up straight. Without a doubt, I straightened up and felt a large hand grasp my body and pull it out of the falling water. I came out of the water and my mouth poured all the water in my body onto the ground. I can't believe how much water got into my body and how much came out. After that, my life and perspective changed. From that moment on, I knew I wouldn't be the same person. The first time I saw my life in front of me, the feeling I experienced when I spit water out of my mouth was so strong. I was filled with hope and love, almost feeling all the nature and people around me. I never told my family about my experience. Something in me reminded me to remain silent about the situation. That incredible experience can't be explained in any sense on earth. I felt myself standing by the twilight gate and the doors of the sixth or seventh dimension of the future opened before me. I'm 35 years old now, but it feels like it happened yesterday. I can remember every detail clearly. I'm grateful for everything, good and bad, to everyone I meet.